core maths it generally offers a chance to, to look at the sort of real life maths. There's, there's much less, here's an equation, solve it. It's all um, embedded in some kind of context. And so uh, often when people talk about, oh, this is the kind of maths I wish I'd learned about at school, uh, that's the kind of maths that really you're doing uh, in core maths. So whether it's the financial budgeting, taxation, mortgages, things like that, it's all the way to looking at the media and trying to judge whether the data actually backs up a headline. Um, I, think, I think the idea that actually you, you're seeing where the math is being used uh, is really important. Uh, we had a look across the different exam boards and when we looked at AQA we felt that because they offered the different uh, three different options that allowed a bit of flexibility for our students. We felt that that was really good for personalising it to the students. Uh, so what we've done is, is the three different options are uh, graphical techniques, uh, critical path analysis and risk analysis and statistical techniques. And so how we sold it to the students was that there was a social sciences pathway which dealt mainly in statistics, uh, kind of a computing and business pathway which focused mainly on the critical path and risk analysis and a natural sciences pathway which focused a lot more on the graphical techniques uh, and I think that gave a bit of buy-in with them feeling that what they were doing was genuinely going to support their learning other subjects or um, their kind of future plans for university and things like that. For some of them it's a case of um, picking something where they actually get a qualification out of it. Uh, for some of them it's because they enjoy maths and, and, but it wasn't one of their main subjects. Uh, and then you have the second years who are already starting to think quite carefully about their university applications and their future options and very aware that a small number of people uh, do maths beyond GCSE and that they can set themselves apart by doing something mathematical like core maths. In general, core maths has uh, a lot of value in a lot of different contexts, so whether that's uh, for future study and, and helping you understand the kind of quantitative reasoning and statistics you might have to do in a further course to looking at your finances um, to actually just day-to-day -day thinking about how you might estimate a difficult problem or you know catering for a large party or all kinds of things kind of come up on court maps which which you do recognize uh, appear you know, in, in your day-to-day -day life in your work in your study all kinds of areas it was reasonably straightforward to to look at past papers and how they use preliminary material and, and try and come up with ways in which um, the preliminary material might be used uh, in, in the future exam. So yeah, we've, we've found them good and we think the students uh, certainly came out of them feeling that, that the exams were, were fair and were um, on the whole pleased with their results in the summer as well. In terms of AQA core maths, I think what you've got is a course that students buy into that they seem to enjoy and and that I think they they can see the link between what they're doing in the classroom compared to what they might have to encounter in, in real life. It gets more students doing maths, which you know, in a maths department is, is brilliant. There was a big gap between our GCSE research students and our A-level students. There wasn't much uh, in between or anything in between really for them to uh, uh, for them to, to do so it's, it's brilliant that you can you can ex open up um, maths to a much wider range of people um, and also I, I mean I find it really enjoyable to teach. Mm -hmm.